<clears throat> Day number 28, picnic table talk here in the backyard. My guest today, Alex Brown from Alabama on Alabama Day. It wouldn't be more fitting. Alex, your first time in Saratoga, correct? Yep. You had some big hits earlier this year. You had almost a six-figure hit uh, Memorial Day weekend at Belmont. But let's get started on this three-race card, race number eight. We have uh, our first stakes race of the day, the Lake Placid. Grade two going one and one sixteenth on that inner dirt uh, inner turf course. Yeah, Alex, yeah, where'd you yeah. land here? All right, so um, I'm going to end up singling the four consumer spending. Um, I just think Lake Pace has played really well in the inner uh, recently. Looked at with the moonlight uh, really hard. Really like that horse. Uh, I have a thing for Euro Shippers, but uh, the jockey downgrade from Buick to Luis Saez, and I think there's more pace in the race. Don't really like that horse shortening up. Um, so gonna end up singling consumer spending here. I'm uh, I'm gonna stay with this one here. I was on this horse last time. Um, very impressive winner. Back off 13 days. Spoke to the Godolphin guys on Saratoga Morning Report five or six days ago. Very confident the horse. Horse has been working well. William Buick doesn't come in for this mount because there was only one mount opportunity today. He decided to stay over at York. Um, Luis Saez gets the mount here, having a phenomenal meet. Horse should be mid pack make one big run. Horse of note I want to talk about here is the number two sail by 20 to one. This is a Breeders' Cup horse. We saw in the Breeders' Cup juvenile turf, turf Phillies turf. <clears throat> Finished 13 out the back, had a horrible trip, three wide, six wide. Replay, you should definitely go back and watch. Off 84 days rest, we spoke to Lee um, this morning. She was pretty confident in the horse, saying the works were really getting there. And the one thing I'm looking at this horse is a big upgrade, is the opportunity here to be lone speed on the front end. I know there's some speed left in this five. I don't think it's necessarily going to get there today with IRAB, not somebody I actually I like to play out in front. On the Horse Racing Nation track trends report, we're currently showing the inner turf course going wire to wire at 46%. So we're going to about half the race to wire to wire. I'm confident and there's an opportunity here. I'm going to be looking at the one two today in my horizontals. We'll take a move on to race number nine, five and a half furlongs on the turf. A nice race here, um, four year old and older. Interesting here, we have one horse that's pretty well known by Naira players, Robin Sparkles. Um, I'll let you decide where you're going to land first before I get mine. All right, so I'm looking at two horses here. Um, I like the seven, uh, Wesley Ward, the legal smile. I uh, think that horse sets a great trip right off the speed. Uh, Robin Sparkles, I think the four, um, Sarah Harper gives that horse some trouble on the front end and sets it up for somebody coming from a little bit off of it. I also like the eight, uh, Lady Edith. Uh, been chasing this horse for a while. Um, I'm not entirely confident that Trevor can work out the trip, but uh, I think we'll get a good price. So seven, eight there for me. The time form numbers definitely fit very much for the eight. Um, I'm going to be a chalk eater here. I'm going to stick with the three. Uh, I'm going to stick with the three. Robin Sparkles, who I think will be much shorter by the time the gate pops. This is the speed of the speed in this race. On these Turk sprints, the last 16 of them, we saw 11 go wire to wire. Um, it's definitely you want to be out in front. Turf is drying every single day. Um, I'm going to take Javier Castellano, Bruce Brown up front here. Horses have been doing really well. No time, to, uh, no time to works between the last start and here. One last time out. They did not send the horse to the farm, which is a, a Bruce Brown standard on these breaks. Um, they actually kept the horse here, jogged the wrong way a couple times, and uh, jogged it around the turf course two or three times in the last week. No time to works, but I think there's an opportunity for a horse to get to the front and keep going. Um, the only concern here is a possible suicide pace, in which case I will be looking at this one change of control. Um, Michelle Lovell's had some good races up here so far this year. Brings in Colby Hernandez Jr. for the mount. Um, this is another horse that's going to be sitting right off at two or three back. Opportunity to make a one run. Uh, any other horses that you were interested in here in race nine? Not really. Um, I looked at the other two Clement runners. I think both of them have a shot. Uh, I like the five a little bit more than the six there. Um, but a little bit concerned about the jockey change from uh, Joel, who's been riding these turf sprints so well here, um, to Manny. But uh, I'll probably use something for both of the Clement horses also. And why we're all here today, Alabama Day. Uh, we have a small field here, but a, a good field in that. Seven horses enter the starting gate. Uh, interesting in terms of events with Joel Rosario being sick. Gerrymander picks up a new Flavian Pratt here, which is a bit of a change. Spoke to Chad Brown on Saratoga Morning Report today. Very confident the horse. He said one of the best horses he's had working in a couple of years. Is going to need to take a step forward, but he does believe that pedigree is suited for 10 furlongs. Where did you land here with Super Horse Nest? Uh, I'm taking a stand against Nest. Uh, landed on Gerrymander. What you just said, uh, horse has been working lights out, it seems like, um, and the price just seems too short on Nest. Uh, so I'm going to take a stand with Jerry Maynard here. I couldn't agree with you more. I'm going to play the bounce on Nest here after that last race. Um, I think this horse is going to bounce to the moon. I think there's an opportunity for this three gerrymander 
to um, you know really get that that situation it hasn't had before, where it has a horse that's going to tire in front of it. Um, it's going to have the inside inside post here on the three. Going to get the low, going to get out there on the speed. I think Nest is going to get in front. Horse can be able to track maybe one or two off. And I think Nest is again going to bounce tire and tire out. Um, another horse of note that I wanted to talk about here is, is what about the seven Secret Oath, uh, D. Wayne Lucas's baby. Uh, I can't use Secret Oath here. Um, it feels like she's just going the wrong direction. Many need a break. Um, loved her earlier in the year, but uh, now's not the time. I couldn't agree with you more. I think running against the boys took a lot out of this horse uh, in, in, at Pimlico in the Preakness. Uh, I think this is an opportunity here for this horse to just really not show up. Um, I'm not really going to have any confidence. The one thing I, I, I did find a little interesting was this uh, Rusty Arnold horse. She's keen. Sort of a horse that needs to make a step, a giant, giant step forward. And the only thing I think the horse has a good opportunity here is if we do see this, this suicide possible pace between three and four. Um, gerrymander and nest and there could be something here for, for she's keen to come in and pick up the pieces i'll leave that one thanks for joining us on saratoga picnic table report we're here every single day of the meet day number 28 and good luck with your bets well tied